Welcome guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to set up SFML on your Windows machine. We're going to be using Visual Studio as the IDE to set this up. So the first thing you're going to want to do is come here to the SFML website and download this version of here, 64-bit, which is Visual C++ 17-2022, 64-bit. So once you hit the download button, you're going to get a... Um, you're gonna get a zip folder, and you could extract that folder to whatever destination you desire. So once you extract it, you will see all these zip folders inside. So once you've done that, let's head over to Visual Studio. Okay, so from here we're gonna go over to create new project. We're going to go over to empty project. Then you can name your project to whatever you desire. I'm going to name it project 12. Save it to whatever destination you will like. And then I'm going to place a solution and project in the same directory. Hit create. Okay, so now we're here. So now we're going to head over to Solution Explorer. Then you're going to right click on your project. Then go down to Add. Add new item. We're going to add a C++ file, which is this one right here. And we're going to leave it as Source CPP. Okay, so that's there. So now the next thing you're going to want to head over is project. Now scroll all the way down to project 12 properties. And uh, yours might say something else, but since I need my project, project 12, that's what it says. Click on it. So from here, you're going to go to configurations and then hit all configurations. Platforms, all platforms. So we're going to go to C++ General, and all the way at the top it says Additional, Include. Go over here, hit Edit. Alright, so let's head back to the folder that we extract in with all the files. So, you're going to copy the path for the Include folder. Include folder copies path. Let's head back. Paste. Right, we're going to hit apply. Uh, we're going to go down to the linker. Go to general. Additional libraries. Alright, head back to the folder. Now you're going to copy the path for this lip folder. Hit OK. Hit Apply. Alright, so now we're going to head over to Input. Now this part, you're going to have to change it. Change its configurations to uh, debug. And then you're gonna come over here where it says additional. Hit edit. So this I'm gonna provide this in the description down below, so don't worry about it. So you're gonna go for the debug mode, you're gonna copy all of this. And you're gonna paste it onto the Visual Studio and copy it. Okay. Hit apply. And now we're gonna head over to configurations and select release. 
And then we're gonna go back again to act as uh, for release mode. You're gonna copy all of this. Paste, hit OK, hit apply, and that should be that should be it for uh, this properties. Uh, you might also want to change your language to seventeen. Let's see, us uh, change to seventeen. Hit apply. Hit OK. All right, so the, we're not done yet. So we're gonna go to Solution Explorer, right click on your project, and hey, all the way down to open, open file in uh, Explorer. So now we're here. All right, so you're gonna head back to your folder, SFML folder, and you're gonna go to the bin folder and click on it. Now you're gonna copy all of these files. Now you're gonna paste them in your project folder. Okay, so we're done with that. Let's head back to Visual Studio. All right, so now, you can find the code, this code in the SFML website. And you're gonna copy it. Okay. That up here, you can set it to release. And then you're gonna run it. All right, so now if you see this green circle, that means you have successfully set up SFML on your Windows machine. That's the exact output that we're supposed to get as it states on the website. So also you want to keep in mind that version, this code is not going to work in version 3, which is the latest one as of 2025. This code only works for version 2, which we have downloaded. Okay, so that's about it for this video. So if you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them in the, in the comments down below. And I will provide all of this depend this additional library that you can copy and paste in the description. So I'm gonna have to type it in all manually. Alright guys, so thank you guys for tuning in. And now it's time for me to tune out.